Hi, this is Vince Icari. Uh Tonight I'm going to show you a few things about getting started with your Brother PE900. You know, just say you just buy it. I just got this. And, you know, there's the box that it came in. And, um, I got a lot of brothers, you know, there is the P800 over there, and this is the upgrade to it, okay? Now I'm going to show you a few things. We start with, we start with the basics, um, let me move this over here, we start with um, your hoop, right? I'll show you what you need, here is something I did. Uh, I did Christmas morning. All right, that's a fruit cake with a, a cup of coffee, marshmallow in it. Okay, now now these hoops have a lock. This is the hoop that comes with the machines, a five by seven. You don't take the screw all the way out, you just loosen it so that the inner hoop comes out. <clears throat> and there's your, your fabric. You finish the job. Okay, so now I take, I take a piece of uh, the, uh, the fabric that I use to make sure it fits. You know, you should have enough, enough on, uh, in order to be able to grip the ends and make it taut. Okay, this is the part of the hoop that goes to the machine uh, with, with the keyholes, right? All right. So start off with you put the you put the bottom down. You put your stabilizer in place. <clears throat> put your fabric down. This is white denim. I buy this, well, different places. Joann's, uh, sometimes they're out of it, so, so I buy it online. I think it's fabrics.com, you know, and I'll buy it. Uh, six yards, seven yards, because I, I basically use this. All right, so so now, the corners of the hoop. Corners of the hoop. All right. And then you take the top. Now, the hoops have the right way and the wrong way. Up here, where my thumb is, there's a there's a triangle, and I. I do it in black so that my old eyes could see it. And on the bottom there's a dash. All right, I got to take this off. And similarly, you align them. Now they're made this way, so, so don't just blow it off, you know. They're made this way. They're molded. Okay, so now make sure yeah, sometimes you turn it over. All right, so I want to make sure I get enough on both sides. All right, all right. Now you hold it, you pull it towards you, and then you lay you lay your fingers in. Goes down all the way around. Right, it's all the way around. Now, what does most of the holding is the corners. Most of the holding, All right, and you just pull it a little taut, a little taut. You can push it like this. Now you tighten the thumb wheel, thumb screw. Excuse me. You tighten it. Push it. Pull it. Tighten it. Tighten it. Tighten it. Keep tightening it. Make sure it's down. And that's important. Quite tight. Now, see here, sir. 
Test the sound. Taut. And just pull it just in case. Got a little loose. Okay, that's that. Okay, now you need bobbin. I have a fresh bobbin in there, but I buy pre wound and I recommend pre wound. I get 40,000 plus stitches out of one of the 40,000 people. I get these from Mr. Vac and Mrs. So, that's my dealer. Um, I get them from Lisa, she's um, um, one of the owners, and Joe's her husband. Family owned business. Here's the name, Polly Star. Now, Polly, this is polyester uh, bobbin thread. Okay? Now, I got a bobbin in here. I'm going to show you how to put the bobbin in. Okay, good. That's good enough. All right. There's a little tab here. You pull it to the right, the little door opens up. Now the the door you could see through. Okay. Now right in here there's an there's an uh, uh, engraving you want to call it shows you the way the bobbin turns. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, the bobbins holding the bobbin in your fingers when you pull it when you pull it it unwinds counterclockwise counterclockwise okay now you put it in now right here there's a plastic piece of plastic see I'm picking on it Okay, the thread goes under that. You pull the thread. You pull it into that groove. Into the groove. And right here, there's a little knife that cuts this. Cut, cut the thread. Okay? That's all you got to do to get your thread ready to go. You put this down. You know, you know, now we're talking about designs and, you know, threading the, mach threading the machine. Okay. That's the next step. Okay. We start off with a USB flash drive. You know, you can get them on Amazon. You don't need a big one. You know, two gigabytes plenty. If you can get them that small, they're making them so freaking big now. But you don't want too many on here because you, you have trouble finding it. All right, now I'm going to plug this into my computer. And you're going to see, you're going to see a new letter form. And, and you're going to see this is called Brother um, Number One. I named it, and I'm going to show you how to name it. I'm going to plug it in. All right. You see it showed up, and... Uh, okay. <laughs> I got I to gotta find it again. Okay, uh, bo, bo, bo. here it is right here. All right, now, in order to name it, you know, I'm not going to rename it, of course. You right-click on this that showed up. You right-click, and then uh, down at the bottom, I'll do it again. Let's see. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't move this up. 
Okay, down at the bottom, I gotta bring my camera down. Down here it says rename. See right here? And you click on that. Left click. Now, I'm not going to rename it, but it's in blue indicating I could rename it at this point. You know, you left click and then you, you type, you see it blinking? It means it's ready to accept something. Um, all right, um, all right, uh, uh, I'm going to call this Flash, right? I'll, I'll delete and I'll make this Flash. Okay, all right, so you just saw me do it. And then, and then you left click out here and it changes it. So now on here, I'm going to left click. I got design folder here. Here is something I made last night. But in the design folder, I left clicked. Here, this is the one I'm going to stitch out. It's the Mickey Mouse Mini and Goofy. Left click. Okay, it opened up. I'm going to drag it to, to where the camera is. It opened up in my software. I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, so here's your goofy guy. And here's the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. See? And this software is um, Brother PE Design 11. Now, I, I have pre... I'm sorry. I have PE Design Next, which was the first one that came out 11 years ago. It cost me 1200 bucks, And I use that a lot of times for Photoshop, uh, photo stitch. Um, you know, that's the, the, the things that I do that I'm quite good at. And I'm going to show you real quick. All right. All right. You see that? That is my late wife, sorry to say, when she was 27 years old. My daughter, I don't know, maybe she's two here. She's 49 now, my daughter. Uh, this is the photo stitch I've done. And now look at, look at the photo stitch and look at my wife. Now you can't tell me that's not her. You know, a beautiful woman. I'm married. Sorry to say I lost her two years ago to COVID. Okay. That's not the point of this video. But anyway, you know, that's the design right there. And I'm going to, it's on the flash drive now. And I'm going to put it into, into the, uh, into the PE900. Okay, guys. All right, here's the flash drive. And I'm going to put it in. There's a hole in here. It's a uh, receptacle socket. And you put this in. you got to put it in the right way. Move my head here. Okay, right here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is a little pocket. Try to get yourself one of these, you know, that, that you, uh, not sure where I got this. I might have got this at 7 Eleven, but you know, you could buy them anywhere. If cheap, all right, hit the little pocket. 
Now, what the pocket tells you is that there's a Wi-Fi. You could you can get something via Wi-Fi from your computer. You could get it from the computer, or you can get it from the USB, which is here. Click that. It's hunting. Okay, now, it's not the design I did last night, because I recognize it. It's in the design folder. And I happen to see it right here. Now, there's a few things in here. All right. It, this shows you that there's two pages. So you could look in the next page. And that's Minnie Mouse. For example, if I wanted to do the Minnie Mouse, I would do that. I would hit set. And there's the Minnie Mouse on the screen. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll do the Minnie Mouse tonight. That's a nice, it's a nice size. I'll have to bring it down a few percent in order to fit in the hoop. You see the, the 4.06? Um, now, um, let me see if the hoop will accept it. And uh, let me do it. Oh, I don't even have a hoop on here. All right, just hold it. Right. Right. Part of the lesson. All right, the hoop is here. And here's the keyholes. You see the keyholes? All right. And, you know, the larger part of the keyhole goes down. And here's the portion that's going to accept the lock. And here's the lock. See? Hear it? Spring loaded that sound. Okay, I usually put uh, the, on the peg closest to me first. And then, then I pull this to the left, down, and then I push. Push in the middle. You hear that click? All right, that's locked in. Right here. My finger is that's, that's locked in. The hoop's locked in. Okay, now getting back to, I want to do a trace. This means that the hoop is going to go around, and you're going to watch the needle that it does not touch. This this is going to trace the design. So do this once and do this again, and you watch the hoop do a dance. All right, that shows me this should fit. Hit OK. Embroider. All right, it accepted it. It accepted it. Now, this is what it's telling me. 32 minutes stitch out and seven thread changes. Okay, now what does that mean? Okay. Now, this is the way I do it. You got one, two, three, you got four colors. Now these are embroidery colors, embroidery type. My thread has numbers because this is embroidery type thread. The machine comes default with brother embroidery type thread. Now the first one is seven. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, good. All right. The first one is zero, zero, one. And uh, I'm just going to put white. And it's six minute. All right. The second one is uh, three, zero, seven. That's sort of pink, just say. And that. And that is a four minute stitch out. And you got and you got uh, three is, is zero one nine. Uh, just say blue. 
and that's a four minute slit show. And then you got number four is, is zero eighty five, and that that's pink, and that's a six minute slit show. All right, now what are the rest? All right, you press this. Uh, needle. Okay, you press this, and now you go up to the spools. And you could press, you look up here, just say number, you go to four, and then you hit OK. OK, so four is this one that I wrote down. Okay, and then 800 is 5, and that's red, 800 is 1 minute, and you got 900, I know it's black, and that's, well, I know what that is. And that is a 10 minutes to chow. And then you got 001 again, okay. And I know what that is, and that is a one minute stitch out. Okay, so you line up your threads. You know, I I uh, I look through my uh, my stock of threads that I got over there. You know, I should have all those colors. Now, another thing, going off on a tangent, but this is important. Assuming you buy a machine from Mr. Back and Mr. Salt, that I recommend. I recommend and uh, that's the box that it comes from for, uh, uh, in Polystar, it's a very sturdy box and within it has two drawers with your colors. This one goes in first and then the top drawer I know starts off with a 001 and that's white. I know my blacks here you know that goes on down on the bottom and what I do is <clears throat> on the bottom of the box is uh, the information about the, the thread uh, is a 50 weight 1000 meter 1000 we hear that this is a dark gray it's a 707 so what I do is I number them here you see these two, you see these aren't numbered? That's because I haven't used them yet. You see, they don't have a hold yet for this bullpen. All right. So I number them down here. 64 colors you got here, and, and you could you could do all the stuff I do with it. All right? You got all the, all the colors for a lot of stuff. The Mickey Mouse, you know. You know. All right. There we go. Back. Okay. Go back to the beginning and do the minus spools until you get zero up here. Okay. So now you're ready to start. You do okay. And that'll show you the first color's white. Now I'll show you how how I put the spools. Okay, bring the spool pin up. And I don't use any of those little plastic deals that come with the machine. I just put it right on. You go into one, come down, you go under this chrome, up to number two, then you come over, there's a groove up there, groove, you come down to number three, which is down here, over to the left and you come up, stay to, stay to the right, you're up to four, you pull it to the left, now there's a take-up lever in here, I'm going to come down, I'm going to pause there for a second. Let 
here's the take up lever. See? It's up in there in this opening. But this is a take up lever. And your thread your thread goes in in the top and then it gets caught in the take up lever. All right? And it stays in there. Uh, where are you going to see that? Where else are you going to see that? Okay, so now you're down at five. Okay, now I take the thread, two hands, I take my finger, and I reach in. There's a uh, a guide. I'm going to show you a close up. You you. Put the thread behind it, and you pull it to the left. And it clicks. You hear it and feel it. Okay, now. There's a bird mouth. Let's see if I can get in here. All right, there's there's a bird mouth right here. You put the thread in the bird mouth. There's a number seven here. All right, pull the thread through. In the front of the machine, there's a number eight that clips the thread, and I clipped it. Okay. So now <clears throat> you're ready. You're ready to. Um, you're ready to thread the needle. I just want to point something out. I want to point something out. Let me get a let me get a, let me get a pointer. Alright. Right here. Right here. There's a hook. There's a little hook. You can see it. It runs this way. Alright? Now, that little hook, when you pull it to the left, the thread pushes back that little, little piece and clicks and you hear it and feel it and it gets locked behind that hook. That's very important because if the machine starts and this hook is uh, damaged or pushed out of the way, the thread will flick right out and you'll get a upper thread warning. All right, so now I'm going to I'm going to do the the threading and it should go right through the needle's eye. Okay, I'm pretty good. And then you pull in there, you, uh, you uh, reach in, and you pull the loop out. What could that be? And now you bring the uh, presser foot down. Okay, now you got a green light. What does that mean? It means you're ready to sew. How could that be? All right, press the button. There you go. And the machine's going to start going to have a little green arrow, a little green plus, excuse me, and that's where the machine stitching. And over here, where you can't see, because it's white, you can almost see it. That's where what's being stitched out. And it's six minutes, so it's quite a bit. And it tells you, you know, it tells you here it's a six minute switch out. Up here, it tells you six minutes. And, and here's the thread, as it's, here's the stitches as they're uh, accumulating.
I'm going to pause it to save time. Right now it's doing the underlay, which is the reinforcement of the overlay, which is the thing that you actually see. And usually it does it at a degree angle. That's for the, uh, the full compensation. You know, the, the density of the upper thread will have it, as it locks in, forming the lock stitch, it will pull on the fabric to distort it. If it didn't have underlay underneath, going the opposite direction, maybe the degree to it. Okay. All right. Press the foot up. Take this out. Take the spool, back comes off, push it in, locks it in. Next color is behind the lock, take it out, spool pin into one, down, under the chrome piece, up, the two, over to the left, down, to three, to the left, up, stay to the right, to four. Pull it to the left, down, pick up the take-up lever, down to five, take, take the thread on the finger, and go into six, pull it to the left, and you hear it and feel it, into the bird's mouth, the seven, eight is the cut, and the cut off, bring down the presser foot, nine, all right, reach in and grab your thread, pull the little hoop out, press the foot down, and you go. And that's a four minute stitch out. We're nine minutes, we will be nine minutes into a 32 minute stitch out. And this machine cuts jump stitches. Uh, the setting on, on this machine is, is anything down to five millimeter, it will cut. Okay, press the foot up. Scrolling for the next color. That's thread change three. Take this out. Put the thread in the cap. This. Alright, that did it. Uh, this color here to 19. Small pin. Alright, and number one down. Pick this up to two, over to the left, down to three, up to four, stay to your right. When you get to the top, at four, go to the left, down, pick up the take up level, go down to five, bring it in your fingers, reach in to six, pull it to the left. You hear and feel the click. In the bird's mouth, bird's mouth to seven, eight is the cutoff in, in the front. All right, throw your thread out. Bring the uh, number nine down. 
it shoots through. Pull out your thread. Pull out your thread. Forms a loop. Bring the presser foot down. Hit go. Okay. And that's a four minute stitch out. Now, you see me stop it. Why? Because there's a there's a little tail. There's a little tail here. Alright, that's the tail from the the new thread. I'm clipping it. Blowing it out of the way so I don't sew over it and go again. It doesn't hurt nothing to stop it. You're doing good because that was a blue tail. In the event the blue tail half inch is sticking up and you went over it with a pink, you went over it with a white, with a yellow, and then the piece of blue half inch long would get stitched over. You would always see it. Always. Trust me. The dark color on the relata color you will always see. So, trim your tail. It's a tail because when the, when the new color goes in and the thread, uh, the needle does about three or four or five stitches, it's pulling uh, the bobbin thread forming a lock stitch in the middle of the fabric. Uh, in the course of maybe the, the three or four stitches, there might be a half inch sticking up above the fabric. That's the tail. That's what you want to cut. Don't allow you to sew over it. This machine cuts the jump stitches between. Uh, it just say it's uh, doing the eyeballs, and then it does one eye, it, it, um, it goes down an inch, comes up, and it cuts a jump stitch, goes to the right, the other eye, forms the pupil, you know, when that's done, it goes down, it comes up, cuts the jump stitch, maybe it does the mouth outline, and those are reasonably good, it does a reasonably good job with, the, with those. Okay, press the foot up, take the thread out. Alright, lock it. Next color is so blurry. Alright. 85, which is a pink. That's a pink. And one. One. Down. Up. Two, over to the left, down, the three, up, up to four, ooh, up to four, to the left, pick up, take up lever, down to five, two hands, put the finger, six, feel, and here. Get bird's mouth, number seven, cut it, number eight, get rid of the thread. Thread it. Right, bring the bring out the loop. Press the foot down and then go. Okay, that's a six minute stitch out. We're on seven thousand five hundred. 
out of 1800. So, you know, we've got another 10. Another 10 to the over 1000. This is 19 minutes out of the 32 required. Now the 19 minutes is is uh, when this is done with number four. Alright. Let's do with the underlay. Let me, let me clip uh, this little... Uh, let me clip this. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good for very good for trimming. See it's the height also of these, the thickness of the of the blade. That's very important. I I also have these now. <clears throat> Now these are made in Italy from ginger. This, you know, it's a very um, thin blade. Also, might even be less. But what I like about these is they're long. They got the length. Comp you know, compared to these, you know. We just did the underlay, now it's still in the fill stitch. Come nice. Uh. 
All right, you know, the next thing you do is you take your you take your stabilizer off the back. You know, this is tear and wash, or you you could you could tear it around. Got to be careful though because the stabilizer is pretty strong. Don't try to pull it uh, um, within the stitches because you could wind up pulling the stitches uh, unraveled, you know, because it is a strong stabilizer. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, when I say tear, I'm going to show you. I've just loosened this up. You know, can't hurry, right? All right, got this apart. Let me shut the machine off. Did a good job, the machine. All right, so here, here you got, you know, when they say tear, uh, let's see. That's close enough. You know, you tear it around, around the design. Close to it. All right, this is good. Now, if you put this under the sink, put this in the sink, and you turn on your your uh, sprayer, you know the the hand uh, one, and uh, you lay this in the sink, and you get you know hot water, and you just with the with the the sprayer, you spray around it, and a lot of this will will pull away. A lot of it will pull away. You know, and then uh, and then what I do sometimes is is uh, once you get it pulled away, and you know you're happy with it, you could get you could get something like two dish towels, and you put it between the the thin uh, dish towels, and you put a put an iron on like uh, like up at the up at the steam setting, you know, where the iron isn't touching uh, the polystar, you have you have a, a towel over it, not not a bad towel, just a dish towel, you know, which is um, uh, reasonably thin, but it'll it'll press the thing out nice, you know. So anyway, that's it, and I'm happy with it. And uh, been security. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. I'm trying to rebuild my channel after being hacked. Um, November 11th, I lost my channel. I lost 14 years, 980 videos, 14 million views, and 38,000 subscribers. It was just in, in a heartbeat, it was gone. Thank you, Vince Carey.